hello and welcome to the channel today in this video i'll show you how to design this model i created this model and this technical drawing using the free card so if you want this drawing here you can download it on my grab card site okay if you like the content i have been producing please subscribe to the channel and if you want to donate to the channel you can do so accessing qualify site link to this page can be found on the description of this video thank you so now what we have to do now we have to create a new document so to create a new document you can click in this icon here or choose file and now select new and here we select par design workbench and now we create a new body and a new sketch for this first sketch here we'll select xz plane okay and now let's go to this page here so as you can see here here we have this views the section view and these dimensions here okay so for this first sketch here we'll create a sketch for this face here so we come back to this sketch and here we can first select this line tool and here we draw this line okay and now this second line Okay, and next select this arc tool and here we draw this arc and now this arc and next this arc here and now we draw this okay and here we draw this arc okay and next here we select these two points and we set tangent and now these two points here and we set tangent constraint and these two points okay so here we set tangent constraints for these arcs okay and as you can see here we have the same radius for this arc and this arc here so what you'll do here, here we select this arc and this arc here and we set equal constraint. Okay, and and now here is missing this arc. So first here we'll set these two points constant. Okay. And and now here we'll draw we'll draw arc here so select this arc tool and now draw this arc okay and next select these two points and we set tangent okay and and now here we set these two points tangent okay and we select these two center points and we set this horizontal constraint here so here we select this center point and this center point here and we set horizontal constraint okay and next here we'll set the dimension of the sketch here so here we can see these dimensions we have a range of 15 for this arc and 25 for this arc here so we select this constraint here and for this arc here we set 15 okay and this arc here we set 25 okay and for this arc here we'll set a range of 120 okay and this arc here we have this range here 50 and for this arc here we have a range of 10 okay and next here we'll set the horizontal dimensions here so we select this constraint here and here we can see the distance between these center points here is 35 so here we select this point and this point here and we set 35 okay and here we can see distance between the center point and this point here 100 so we select this point and now this point here and we set the dimension here 
and next let's try to fix this point here so here we we can hide this constraint here so click in this button here and now we select this point and this origin point and we set constant okay and and now here we have to set we have two degrees of freedom so we click here and you can see this and next here we'll set this vertical dimension here so here we select this constraint distance and now this point and this point here and we set 45 okay and okay now we have one degree of freedom okay so What you do here, here we'll set the length of these two points here. We can set 15. Okay, and now leave this sketch here and press home and next select this path tool. And first here we we'll set cement to plane and we change the length here to 25. Okay, and now we have this. And next here we select this face and here we create a new sketch okay and we go to sketch geometry and here we select the centered rectangle tool here we create this pocket here so click in this horizontal line and now draw this okay and now select this vertical distance tool and for this line here we'll set length of 50 okay and here we have this distance 7 so what we do here here we select this external geometry tool and we extract this edge here okay so now we have this point here and we can select this horizontal constraint and now select this point and this point and we set 7 okay and now leave this sketch and create the pocket we change here to triangle and as you can see now we have this and next click OK and now here we select this face and we create a new sketch in this face and here we create this pocket here so what we do here here we select this rectangle tool and we draw this rectangle okay and here we see this distance 75 so what we do here, you first we select this, this external geometry tool and we extract this edge here and we create a point here okay and we set horizontal constraint for these two points click in this icon here and now we have this and now select this horizontal distance tool and here we'll set this dimension 75 so select this point and now this point here and now set 75 and leave this sketch and now we here we create a pocket the size of the the length of this pocket here will set will set at 5 will set a from here the 5 minus 15 divided by 2 millimeters and we get this so the value of the pocket here is 10 millimeters and now here we will mirror this this pocket here we go to mirror tool and we change the plane here to axi plane and as you can see we have this now so click ok and what we'll do next next here we'll create we'll create this okay so we come back here and we go to this first part here and click in this arrow and now we copy this sketch here ctrl c and now click in this icon to pass this sketch in this document and now space bar and drag this sketch into this body here and now here we'll change the attachment of this sketch so click on mouse and go to attachment to Deutro click on this button and select this face here and now click OK
and now double click here and see to section view and what you do here first here we draw a line here we'll draw a line here through this line in this way and next select the stream tool and trim these arcs okay and now select this and delete okay and now click here to see all of these constraints here and now we delete these dimensions select these dimensions and delete okay and now here we do this and now select this external jump tool and first here we extract this edge this edge here and this edge and now this edge here okay and first here we set these two points constant okay and next here we'll set the distance here so here we can see here we see this distance to millimeters so what we do here here we can select these two points and here we set the distance to okay select this point here and this point and we set a distance of two millimeters okay and sorry here we set constant for these two points no here we set vertical constraint okay and now here we have to set the distance here to we set two millimeters here okay and now in these two points we set two okay and okay let's set the distance here to two millimeters and now here we'll set vertical constraints so so click escape and now select these two points and now click here and now select these two points here and click in this icon here and now we have this sketch full constrained so we leave the sketch here and we go to the pocket tool and the length of this pocket here will set here will set two millimeters so we change here to two and okay and now we go to model and we mirror this pocket here so we go to this mirror tool and we change the plane here to x z plane and set ok and as you can see now we have this pocket in this side and next here we select this face and we create a new sketch in this face here we will create these walls these three walls here so what we do here here we select this tool here and we extract this edge okay and now select this cycle tool and we draw these three cycles okay and for these two cycles we have we have the same diameter 15 so you will set equal constraint and now select this constraint here and we change the diameter of these cycles to 50 and for this cycle here we'll set okay we don't have here okay here we'll set a diameter of 8 okay and next leave this sketch here and now we select this pocket tool and we change it up here to draw goal and now okay and as you can see now we have this now the model is okay as you can see as you can see we finished the design of this model here so thank you for watching this video okay